Today, I will be showing you how you can create data series. To do this, all you have to do is go to your report and select settings in the side menu. In the settings, you'll need to choose the option data series. As you can see, a data series has now been created and all you have to do is select these three dots and then choose the option edit. Now you can edit the following options, the name, the color theme, you can choose to ignore all filters, and then you can choose the data. Firstly, I will start by giving it a name. Secondly, I will change the color so I can identify it better. Next, I have the option to ignore all filters. You can choose this setting if you want the data series to ignore the report and ch chart filters if there are any. And lastly, to define the content of your data series, all you have to do is select the option Add Filter. Here you can select the relevant survey variable or question. And then you can choose if you would like the report readers to be able to change any selections that were made. I'm going to choose No. And then I will select the options that I want as a filter. Once these options are selected, all I have to do is select Save. Once I have defined all of the criteria for my data series, all I have to do is select the back button and this will take me back to my data series menu. If I would like to add any more data series to my report, all I have to do is select the plus icon and this will add another data series to this menu, which I can also edit. Once I have created all of my data series, I will need to add them to my charts. So now all I have to do is select close and then select content on the side menu. This will take me back to my main report page. To add a data series to charts one by one, all I have to do is select the charts heading to open the side menu. And now all I have to do is select settings and select the option data series. As you can see, the total has already been selected and now I can add the data series I created. At the moment, my survey only has one data series, which is the one I want to add, but if there were more, I could choose between all of them. Now the data series has been added to my chart and I'll be able to compare and benchmark the data. Once this is done, I can exit the edit chart menu by selecting the option close. Apart from adding data series to charts one by one, you can also add them in bulk. To do this, all you have to do is select all of the charts you want to add the data series to, and then select the Actions menu and choose the option Edit in Bulk. Now, all you have to do is select the option Data Series and select the data series that you want to add. Once you've selected all of your data series, all you have to do is click Done. And now you can close the Edit in Bulk menu. And as you can see, the data series have been added to all of the charts you wanted. These are the steps that you need to follow in order to add data series to your reports.